When Sir Alexander Fleming left his influenza virus experiment for a holiday for two weeks, he returned to find a mold, and penicillin was born. Today, we owe many of our great scientific discoveries to accidents, but as it turns out, it's also how some of the greatest artworks were born. We follow my colleague, director Chi Jie, who has an exceptional eye for arts, to meet Zhang Xiaodong in our Young Chinese Inheritors of Intangible Cultural Heritage series. In the last episode, we showed you how the artist has successfully resurrected and improved China's century-old art of dragon-scale bookbinding. Doesn't that sound incredible? But the artist has also created a new 2.5-dimensional world in his contemporary artwork, inspired by his dragon-scale-bound books. Check this out. I see clouds, mountains, and rivers from this angle, while lotuses, Buddha, and temples from another perspective. Layer by layer, colors change, and views are different. This is Jiang Xiaodong's unique contemporary artworks, known as Qian Ye, meaning literally thousands of pages. But Jiang told me, believe it or not, that he was taken to this 2.5-dimensional world by a mistake he made in 2015 on an exhibition of his dragon-scale-bound books in Lhasa, in the Tibet Autonomous Region. Because 就他翘翘的太厉害了 and that mistake, with sweet memories, triggered the artist to invite the Buddha out of the painting. That's the moment when Zhang's contemporary artwork, Qian Ye, came into being. Inspired by the ancient dragon-scale binding technique and that beautiful mistake, Zhang created a 2.5-dimensional world on his paintings in 2016. 很美很美的莲花 And there's no obstacle to understanding Jiang's artworks for the world he has exhibited in many countries and art fairs, including the 58th Venice Biennale in 2019. His themed project called Waves, also his first solo exhibition in Europe, caused quite a stir. Insiders say Jiang endows the traditional logic of Chinese art with simple but fresh techniques. His works seriously penetrate into the unknown possibilities of art, traceable but inaccessible, non-public but easygoing, for various reasons. The belief that art creates form gives birth to the issue itself, and its characteristics and outline raise questions about the way we perceive cultural boundaries. 甚至我的演讲我是用中文去做演讲的他们说需不需要翻译他说我们完全听得懂他在讲我是听懂了吗他说我们可以感受到他的力量感受到这种气息感受到他对他们文化的理解跟自信 Art itself is a universal language and it also creates possibilities an encounter in a friend's studio resulted in a cooperation with Anna, a senior art agent from Spain who's been living in Shanghai for 17 years. As scheduled, Zhang went to Shanghai last month to visit Anna. The founder of the Art Plus Shanghai Gallery is very straightforward. She says she made the decision to work with Zhao just five minutes after she looked closely at his works. 
The first time that I went to the studio, Xiaodong Studios in Beijing, it was two, two months ago. When I entered in the studio, I had a very strong feeling of calm, um, elegant, and uh, beauty. When I, uh, I look at the works more closely, I um, immediately know that um, I would like to work with him. I would like to represent him. Anna is not alone. Françoise Ognon, a French woman who settled down in Beijing in 2002, has already exhibited Joan's artworks twice in the capital. As the Chevalier des Arts et des Lettres, or Knight of French Literature and Art, Françoise believed that she had found genius the first time she met Jean Chardon and saw his artworks. Et puis, ce qui m'a aussi particulièrement touché, c'est le fait qu'il retravaille dans la mémoire culturelle chinoise avec des outils contemporains pour aller travailler dans la modernité. Son talent, je souhaite le partager avec le plus grand nombre dans un événement qui a lieu à Paris au Grand Palais. C'est un événement qui s'appelle Révélation, où tous les grands personnalités du monde de l'art de la culture, de, des architectes, des grandes maisons de luxe viennent rencontrer les grands artistes. Mais si je peux, au mois de juin, dans les premières journées de juin, je l'emmènerai à Paris, au Grand Palais. And Jiang Xiaodong is warming up. Besides cutting, folding, ironing and binding, boxing is also a very important part of his life. Nothing comes out of thin air. Zhang said no one could innovate anything by just simply standing on the edge of imagination. Innovation requires down-to-earth hard work, accumulation of time and experience, as well as self-enrichment by understanding and absorbing the wisdom of sages in human history. The process is long, arduous, and sometimes even hopeless. Zhang Xiaodong has made it and is still on the way to a wider world. Tidie, CGTN, Beijing.